Hi, I'm Sonia and to the being first this is a collective reading. Don't try and force the crown to fit, it might belong to a different king or queen and know that it can be flipped around because it's a universal crown. So only take what resonates, leave the rest to someone else and know that it can be flipped around with the person you're dealing with. Please be careful of scammers, know that I will not reach out to you for a paid reading, you have to reach out to me first. Through my Facebook or my website, I'm happy to chat. Please be, um... Yeah, don't be don't be scammed in the comment section. Don't go clicking on any links or whatever like that, as well. So um, the cards I use are Mystery Dreamer Tarot by Heidi Duress and Barbara Moore, and Rider Waite Tarot by Pamela Coleman Smith. So welcome. This is a reading for Orpheus. Welcome, welcome, Orpheus. Oh, it looks like you've been having a little bit of anxiety, sleepless nights. Maybe you kind of like been having difficulty sleeping, waking in the night. Possibly because you're feeling a little bit wounded. Oh, it looks like someone... Okay, let's see. What is this? I'm just going to clarify these cards. And, oh, yeah. So, looks like you a little bit of a wounded warrior. Someone is feeling a little bit sad. So, something has happened here. Maybe it's been an ending... Looks like there's been a painful ending. You could have been dealing with a Scorpio. Someone has maybe wounded you. Looks like you're becoming very strong. So you must be overcoming this ending. It's a new beginning as well. And looks like you get a financial new beginning coming forward towards you. So it looks like it's spirits are handing you a coin here. It could be a lump sum like reward coming in. And spirit is showing you that you have to move forward. It's a new beginning. There's a new beginning coming towards you. And they oh look, we also have this Pisces against a Scorpio. So this is Pisces against a Scorpio. Someone that's feeling a bit emotional. Maybe it's because of how wounded you're feeling. But it looks like you're focused on your work. And other people actually really look up to you in your work. So whatever you're focused on in your job, you're actually really good at it. Oh, there's also a balancing of the scales. So this is actually you focus on your work. You're actually really good at what you do. It could be this could be a new business opportunity you're creating. It could be that you are really good at your job. You're really getting you know really noticed for what you do. This is also a balancing of the scales. You could have been dealing with someone that is a Libra, or things that could be a court situation to do with a job. <clears throat> you're feeling a lot of passion someone feels quite passionate so there's like some sort of job something you're really good at and you feel really passionate about and this is actually balancing the scales and this is actually wish fulfillment so you've got some sort of new job here maybe that you feel passionate about which is actually balancing things up for you and it's actually that you, you might have some throat chakra problems too so i'm having a little bit of a raspiness <clears throat> So you might need to get some um, some crystals or do some sort of um, cleansing of your throat chakra. Okay, so you take in the distant past, you took a leap of faith. Maybe you started out on a new journey. It could have been a new job situation. Oh no! Hang on a second. Dropped all the cards. I'll be right back. So the cards that I dropped, um, so this is the distant past that we have. You've taken a leap of faith. You've started out on some sort of new journey. So this looks like your ships have been coming in. This is the cards that dropped. So your ships are coming in. You could be at a distance from somebody. You're getting pay rises. You're getting noticed. You're really getting, you know, maybe um, promotions in your job. You're working so hard. Other people, there's someone else that's watching you. Somebody's been watching you. Maybe a soulmate. Maybe it's a soulmate that is in a third party. The third party could be watching as well. Maybe you're both getting. Maybe they're both watching you. Maybe they stay stuck in a third party and actually they're watching you. So they maybe this third party situation. Maybe this person took a leap of faith towards you. Maybe this is somebody you worked with and actually now they've become very distant from you. They could have been someone that could be a Leo, Sagittarius, or Aries. They could be a masculine energy, but it could be just that they're quite charming and quite good looking and they just think that they're all, you know, the best or whatever, you know, they well, they're quite intuitive, they could be as well. So so the recent past, things have started to balance out. So you've taken a leap of faith in the distant past. Now it's like starting to balance things out. You're feeling emotional world about this wishy washy. So this is the recent past where you have things have started to balance out. 
there's somebody who is a Pisces Cancer Scorpio. This could be somebody that feels a lot of emotion. Maybe you're feeling a lot of emotion. You were a bit inconsistent. Somebody was inconsistent. Maybe there was a lot of fears. You, it's possible that this person didn't actually make a decision or they stayed stuck in a situation and actually decided not to move forward. But this is actually now, this person who was wishy-washy and actually didn't make a decision is wanting to come forward and be sweet and consistent and actually loving now. They feel a lot of emotion towards you. They could be a water sign or a fire sign because we've had water sign masculine energy coming forward. It looks like that keeps you waiting a long time. So this could be you or this could be someone else, but it looks like we're actually dealing with some masculine energies. And so you're actually thinking that you're very strong now. So maybe you're feeling very strong or someone else is actually feeling quite that you're strong now. You're very, um, oh, it looks like you really have dealt with some difficulty though. This could be that you dealt with a Leo and it could be that you're very strong. So it looks like you're kind of like feeling very strong. There has been definitely some sort of deceit, some liar, cheater, stealer, heartbreaking situation, someone that really w wanted to win at all costs and, and actually didn't care about anyone else's feelings. So this is, you're very strong now from this situation. You're really kind of done with this bull crap. And actually, like, you're really wanting something balanced and actually happiness. You know, you're feeling, you're feeling a lot more balanced. You're feeling a lot more happy. And actually that you are, uh, you know, you could have been dealing with Leo, but it's actually that you were done with this kind of conflict, heartbreak. You're kind of feeling maybe that it's better to just be on your own for a bit, or the heartbreak that you dealt with. Um, the, and it's caused a tower now that you are actually quite happy, and that this other person, whoever broke your heart, actually was really, didn't care about your feelings. That they actually... Um, this is bringing down the tower. There's a shocking, you know, event that's going to happen or that's happening at the moment with your kind of like maybe glow up or whatever. But that you're very strong is bringing down the tower for someone else. Page of Wands. So in the future, someone's coming forward that's really passionate about you. Maybe it's that you're feeling passionate about the future. Page of Wands. We'll see what this is. Someone's wanting to come and offer you something. They see you standing up. They see that you're very strong. They're watching. This is the future. There's motorbikes going past. So this is somebody that could be coming in quite swiftly, possibly. They've been watching you. This is three different pages. So this is very immature. So this could be that they're watching. They're passionate about you. They feel a lot of passion and they really want to offer you something. It's a little kind of fish in a cup. Three pages. That's like pages that are quite immature, but it's also about messages. Messages coming in. So someone's watching, they feel a lot of passion towards you and they want to offer you something small. It's not, they're not a king, but they want to offer you something little, like a little friendship, a little kind of offer. It's like, do you, do you want to just go out for a little cup of tea or a cup of, you know, whatever it is. So you have to be very intuitive, you know, use your intuition. You are looking amazing. You're standing above the competition. You are above the drama. You're sick of this kind of, heartbreak and this trickery thievery so you actually need to really trust your intuition especially when these pages come forward because it's like someone's out in the cold they're feeling abandoned someone's feeling sad underneath the deck so they feel very passionate about you though so they think that you're very good looking they want to offer you a cup of tea cup of tea anybody nine of swords so the fears a uh, lot of anxiety sleepless nights because you're a beautiful empress your fears are that you're never going to recover from this anxiety. You're never going to be able to have a bit of sleep, you know, like sleepless nights and all that you've had. Because you've had a lot of trickery and thievery. Look at this person. They're just really narcissistic kind of behavior. They took off with all the swords. They just took, every, took you for everything. Look at the anxiety, the darkness that you're dealing with. But now it's a bit of a shock. You know, this is a shocking event. That now, what the shock is, is that you are this beautiful empress. You're bossing up. You are becoming so abundant and actually, like, giving birth new ideas. This is someone very attractive. This person attracts, they don't chase. So you're actually becoming very stable. And this is bringing down the tower for somebody who has been a bit of a nasty bugger with the way that they treated you. And now they're wanting to come and offer you this little thing. Maybe, you, maybe you're focused, focused on your work. Maybe you've been just really focused on your work. You work very hard and actually they wanted to come and offer you something. Do you want to work? Go 
Do you want to work with me? Do you want to have this, you know, looks like they want to come and celebrate with you and maybe offer you a little kind of, this is still a page. There's a few, every page, every page has been here. So a lot of immaturity, but look at you. You're the best queen in the deck. You are the most amazing queen. And all these little Lincoln people coming, bringing their pages. Anyway, messages, lots of messages. Nine of Pentacles. You are abundant on your own. Other people see you as abundant and amazing. They want to come and work with you. Rushing towards you. Very abundant energy. This is a really good energy. This is like you've tamed that bird on your hand. Like you've tamed that beast. You've actually, you know, really done so well. You're working so hard. You've got your money to stack it up there. You are like, this is a page. So this is that same page coming back. They want to give you one coin so that they can have the Ten of Pentacles. Then you've got all this, these co all this abundance around you. And they want to offer you one little coin. Come on up. We can have a Ten of Pentacles. Here's one coin. Here's one little coin for you. So they're rushing towards you because there's been an ending. They could have been a Scorpio, but there's this person rushing in. This is impulsive energy because there's an ending, so there's a new beginning. You're getting a new beginning, but there's someone who didn't want this ending, so they're coming rushing towards you, but you must trust your intuition. So this is Taurus energy. This is Scorpio energy. So you must trust your intuition when this person comes towards you because they are just rushing in and they're impulsive because you are so abundant and looking awesome and you are looking so good on your own. You're looking so good. Looking awesome. They're rushing towards you, so be careful. This world. So you're hoping there's a new cycle starting. You're hoping that things are going to be more balanced. But you, yep, you've started this new cycle. You are becoming very financially stable. This is, you're hoping that you can be financially stable. And you are going to be. It looks like you are. This is Virgo Taurus Capricorn. This could be you here. Feminine energy, positive new cycle. This is mother energy, nurturing energy. You're hoping that you can move forward into this new beginning. And this this is cancer energy. Um, and that there's somebody here who's trying to hold on to you. This is this person who's actually just trying to win at all costs. And actually that they are really just trying to... Um, they're, they're just trying to sneak off, you know, they, they really just snuck off, but they're trying to hold on to you still while they've got other people in the background that they're dealing with, looks like. They didn't care about nothing. And they're still kind of wishy-washy. I thought I could see someone outside the curtain, outside the window, so that's a bit creepy, and so there could be someone even peeking in your windows, or whatever, but I kind of, you know, I thought I could see something out there, but, um, yeah, just be careful of, shut your curtains, you know. So the ending is some sort of little page. So this is the outcome page of cups. We have anxiety which is turned around in the in the deck. So anxiety sleep this night. So someone feels a lot of anxiety about this bringing this little offer. Page of cups. Moon. Oh, moon and the stars. Okay, so the outcome here is this somebody coming towards you to offer you a cup of tea. You want a cup of tea, love? But there's something hidden still. Something's hidden and it could be that they're not really telling you the whole truth. Maybe that they're kind of withholding some of the information. This is Pisces, Pisces energy. And so maybe this is somebody that actually has feelings for you that's actually kept it hidden for you. They could be an Aquarius, somebody that's done a lot of healing. This is wish fulfillment as well. Someone's coming towards you who wants to offer you something. This could be someone that's been very, very dis that's been at a distance from you, but it could be someone that's wanting to maybe offer you some sort of um, work as well. Maybe it could be someone you work with, and they're seeing that you're actually you're getting pay rises, you're getting promotions, but actually someone is. Still trying to hold on to you from the past. Maybe you've been struggling financially as well. But this is actually showing that you're getting financial stability. You're getting wish fulfillment. Be careful of illusions. You know, be careful of what's, you know, the truth and everything. And, um, you know, like, it looks like you're getting wish fulfillment and you're actually getting pay rises. So very cool. Very happy for you. Bye-bye.